Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you uh, my flip book, envelope flip book. It got a little bit bigger than I expected, but uh, the base, those two pages, they are two pages and each of one it's made from uh, 9 by 6 uh, top loaded envelope and I will have tutorial after this show and tell so for those who are interested how I made this base and I would like to show you what I have created this is for swap with Marley design we decide to do small swap uh, the theme should be uh, like secretary and the, the the field of where she's working it was totally about us so I choose patent office <laughs> Because I do love clever things. Uh, here I used a few Tim Holtz stamps. This can be open. And there is my uh, small note for Marley. I do have that decoration uh, using Tim Holtz stamps. And here I made a kind of like moving. Uh, a little bit moving. Uh, it doesn't move now. Oh, come on, move. Ah, yeah, it's moving. But you have to be very careful. It's from paper. But when you're rolling this uh, this gear, it should be moving a little bit. It doesn't work the way I want it, but <laughs> it moves a little bit. I used Tim Holtz stamps here uh, as well. I think here I don't have any pockets. I have to think. No, I don't have any pockets. But uh, I try to decorate it. It's uh, just uh, this movable part this moving uh, message uh, I found tutorial this is not my idea I found tutorial on uh, Jennifer McGuire Inc she's amazing with cards so uh, I will put link down below where I saw the tutorial for that moving part uh, and here are my two flip flip pages <laughs> So first, I do have pocket here on the top, and because it's from patent uh, office, we do have there some mini patent and some page from patent uh, law and uh, you know guide for inventors. I do have here few tickets. Uh, most of these ephemeras which are inside, I meant to put there. They are not distressed too much. Uh, because Marley uh, creates so many amazing things, so I was thinking maybe she will like to use them. So they are not even uh, glued. They are mostly just slide behind the paper clip, so she can take them off and use them uh, in her projects. So here I can open it. I'm going to take this off to make sure I can open the flap. And here we can open this, this page and in the front. I do have pocket with so many folders because as we know in patent office they do have so many folders with all kinds of ideas so here is nice large pocket and in those folders most of them are holding some goodies uh, which Marley can use in her projects so I'm gonna slide it back I'm not gonna show you what is inside that should be surprise for Marley I hope she already have her uh, her package I do have here uh, this patent uh, patent ephemera again some small folders and uh, I hope she will also use those small folders that's why I didn't distress them because she needs to you know match it with her project so <clears throat> those pages uh, those edges not pages <laughs> those edges are not distressed <laughs> I just left them the way I cut them and glued them with all kind of old papers. So, oh, that's what we have here. I hope I will slide it right way. It's in this first pocket. Then when we open it, we do have another pocket here. <clears throat> here is like writing space and I do have pocket here. And in that pocket, it's old ledger paper and some stamped ephemera. And I do have here another ephemera she can use in her project. And this kind of like um, 
mini folder or sliding folder. I do have a few of these mini folders or holders uh, in this book and they are clipped together with those rivets but m there is only one which I hammered together and then I realized uh, even this she can use in her projects so most of them they are just clipped together that cap from that rivet so it can be unclipped take off that rivet and used all all of it in, in different projects so that is here and we do have a report of new patents here small booklet so that it's in first pocket oh not yet not yet evie oh sorry <laughs> So then we can open it this way. I forgot. And here uh, I clipped. Uh, this is one of those paper clips I showed you in the last videos. And I put here a bunch of different type of papers. Uh, they are uh, new tea dyed or very old like this one. And this one. And this is handmade paper. This is from very old book. Also, this was uh, between pages in very old uh, photo album. And this is from uh, from diary from 1924. So there is loads of proper ephemera, proper very old book pages. And also because it's from patent uh, office, we do have one patent here. And here we do have another opening. And I do have pocket here with mini folder and this can be used in a new project as well. I just left it the way I cut it. I used Elizabeth Craft die uh, planners essentials. I will put uh, names of all kind of dies I used uh, in description of this video. We do have another pocket here again with mini folder and tag. And here I do have clipped uh, some stamped label and frame. All kind of these things can be take off and used in new projects and because it's about secretary so here we have one lady from patent office and I do have here a few <clears throat> few patents this one is good <laughs> this is daily use so I do have here a few patents it's so amazing to have a look on these patterns, on those drawings. And I do have loads of ephemeras in this pocket. Again, this holder with some ephemeras. Here we have a um, uh, patent uh, from patent office, some booklet and again, mini folder, which can be used in projects, labels. And in this envelope, I do have a few <coughs> few words maybe she can use it in her layout so that it's in this pocket I'm gonna put everything back do not fold those things So this flip book, it's loaded with goodies, but they are not glued inside. They are ready to use. And I'm going to close my envelope. And we will have a look on the other side of this flip book. This was first, first side. And from that opposite side, we do have this page with pocket, this page with with pocket and two another pockets so here we have envelope this is from my country so something can be stored inside and because inventors getting paid for their uh, for their ideas for their for their uh, patents here we've got bank checks and in that top pocket we do have another picture of uh, secretary and uh, forms I mean form forms note for inventors so that it's in those two pockets 
here is like writing space and I do have pocket here again just clip together page from uh, how to make your patent go through all that process and here again with that paper clip few papers Marley can use in her uh, in her stamping and stenciling projects if you haven't seen her channel please go to have a look she's amazing with her art so uh, I will put link down below as well here again some ephemeras so I hope she will use them in her projects because it's amazing to watch her and we do have another page it's exactly same folding exactly same scoring exactly same pockets I just uh, swap the colors a little bit stamping a little bit and here I just have hanged over the edge of that uh, rear cover or back cover I do have this mini pocket here I stamped with M for Marley and I do have few pockets here so in this front pocket I do have these ephemeras and some forms and in this mini tag I do have those uh, mini file folders they are also uh, cut out using dies from Elizabeth Crafts die all names will be down below and I do have here a few acetate pieces I'm gonna show you this way so you can see don't forget this is like a clear decorated documented file number and this decorated so if Marley will like to use them and, and now for all those who would like to know how I made those pockets uh, I'm gonna add the tutorial how you can do those flip outs using six by nine or nine by six top loaded envelope which means from the top if you want to know how I made this this pocket now it's coming tutorial I hope you will enjoy it so I'm gonna work with these envelopes they are top loaded envelopes and measurement of the envelopes is I'm gonna fold it this way otherwise it will get glued it's nine by six and one quarter I'm gonna take that envelope and score on this long side I'm gonna score three quarter of inch I'm gonna flip it over and score again three quarter of inch like this I'm gonna take that envelope and fold the score lines and burnish to make sure they will be nice and strong like this now I'm going to take a knife and with my knife I'm gonna cut those long sides this one and this one you can take a scissors or a paper trim and cut it with cut a little bit of those envelopes using scissors or paper trim or guillotine or if you do have letter opener use that that should work like this so I can open fully my envelope I'm gonna take scissors and with my scissors I'm gonna cut, cut of these bottom corners from the score line to the edge in angle here those corners corners again in angle it will help me to make it will help me to make those um, pockets more easy to you know to put their goodies I'm gonna fold the original flap of my envelope to see where it's folded and now I'm gonna cut off these small corners here hopefully I'm not gonna cut it wrong way and here again in angle I'm terrible with scissors 
Never strong, uh, strong, straight. Not sure what's wrong <laughs> with me. <laughs> and in angle. And I think that's all. Yes, that's all. Now I'm gonna fold these. And now I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna flip it over because what I would like to see inside of my foldable thingy uh, it's this white thing, white one, white side, not this one. This will be covered with the decorative paper, so I'm gonna think from this this view, and uh, I can choose either of these two two ends. I think I'm gonna choose this one as my sewing point or spine spine side so here I'm gonna take sport tape sport tape is this fabric self adhesive tape it's wonderful for book binding because it's already sticky yeah like very <laughs> very sticky <laughs> and it's fabric so it will reinforce your spine your paper it's just ready to, to go and I'm gonna put this sport tape over this piece but I think I'm gonna do it from inside so it will be not visible this will be inside of my creation so I'm gonna place it from inside What did I do here? Ooh, slowly, easy, easy, good. So I do have reinforced the side of my envelope where there will be spine of that creation and this oh, I will put together with decorative paper. So now I'm going to take some decorative paper. I'm going to take this uh, office paper. This is from my paper pad I, I sold uh, last year. So I'm going to take one of these papers. This is A4 size of paper. But you can take, I guess, uh, any bigger paper than is your envelope. And uh, this side of my envelope will be covered with this paper. So just try to imagine which way you wanna, you will place that paper. This way I will place that paper. So I need to score here this measurement and I will fold this inside make sure you, you can see what I mean so from this corner here I will score this measurement and from this corner here I will score this measurement without the flap so here we have how many four and three quarter and I need to score it from this side, four and three quarter. That's gonna be here, four and three quarter. I'm gonna flip it this way. And I think it was, oh, sorry for that chicken, it was nine inches if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, nine inches. Nine inches is the size of my envelope without a flap open. So nine inches here. So I do have score, uh, two score lines, four and three quarters here, nine inches here, and because I do have envelope with a window, and I would like to kind of enjoy the, the that profit that window gives me already now, so I'm gonna have a look how far from the bottom that window ends and it will be 
it's ending somewhere here four and three quarters so i'm gonna give it five i think okay i'm gonna score one more time from the bottom of that paper five inches but just oh i'm gonna score it all five inches that is the space where the window in that envelope will fit nicely I'm gonna fold it in those five inches. I'm gonna fold all these score lines first. Where is my phone folder? Ah, there you are. And burnish to make sure I can see. So all these folds I'm gonna score. Uh, score the fold. So here I do have bottom of my paper. Oh, have I? I did. Good. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna first cut what I need to cut. Here it will be from the bottom and this will be flat. So here where I do have that score line, I'm gonna cut it with my scissors on the side where I can see where I do have, where I made that score line, right? On that green side, I couldn't see that. So, this will be flap of my, of my pocket. So, because this one will be flap, I'm going to fold these two corners together. And with my scissors, I'm going to make just teeny mini small cosmetic surgery here. Just a very small cosmetic surgery and it's in the shape of the uh, flap of the envelope which I like. This I can leave as it is, it can be something extra, some extra opening. And here, this I'm gonna cut also with my scissors again from the side where I can see where is that score line. So I'm going to cut it with my scissors to that first cross, just here, just here. So now what we have, it's this flying thingy, this flying thingy, flap of the envelope, and here will be that paper. To make sure I can add there something, I'm going to make slot slots for the pockets. So I'm gonna fold that paper here where I made those five inches score line from the bottom of my paper. I'm gonna fold it and here I'm gonna use this tool. This is called slot punch and it's cutting just really small slot. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna slide my paper to the end of that slot punch and punch. Then I'm gonna move that paper a little bit and punch again, move that paper a little bit, punch again. A little bit more. Yeah. So now I will have entry to my bottom pocket here. So if I will slide something there, I can see that from here. But if I will keep this open, anything what I will slide from the top, it will slide out. <laughs> or I can put something from here, but it will, you know, it will catch up together with this. So this one, 
I'm gonna pretend that it was meant to be like decorative element. I'm gonna take this very light uh, packing tape. Sorry, I got stuck glued. I'm gonna take this very light clear packing tape. This is bottom of my paper. And this entry I need to use for my window, but that second entry I need to cover. So I'm gonna take that clear packing tape and I'm gonna glue it over that cutted window or entry or slot. And from opposite side, because here it's sticky, of course it's sticky, I'm gonna take some washi tape. Yeah, some washi tape. I do have these cute strips. So maybe I can use some cute. Oh, these numbers. I like numbers. And I do have these cute stripped washi tapes. So I'm gonna take one of these. And just glue it over. First of all, that uh, packing tape, clear packing tape, will help to hold this masking tape because of that stickiness, you know. And it's decorative. I'm gonna hold it here where there will be flap of my envelope. I'm gonna fold it and I'm gonna do exactly the same. I think I'm gonna do it from this side. You are on my way. Fold yourself. And again, I'm gonna slide um, paper to this spot or slot paper punch. And I'm gonna punch. So I do have this now. I do have slot, slot, and slot. Before I will do anything any other steps I'm gonna flip it over and here between those two slots I'm gonna apply a glue so I'm gonna apply the glue here between those two slots and all around of my um, of my pocket flap And I'm gonna take book page and I know I'm using book pages quite often because I like them and I'm gonna glue the book page on that paper between those two slots and on that rest like this I'm gonna take my scissors and cut the book page all around like this and if I put glue right way I do have pocket here in the flap of my envelope so now I'm gonna let it dry properly to make sure the glue it's dried and it's not wet and I will make some sewing effects before no I think I can first glue it together and then make sewing effects so before I will glue it on my uh, envelope paper or envelope piece I'm gonna take my paper punch and punch the corners of these two flying thingy like this now I'm gonna take my base envelope base and I'm gonna fold it this way and this way so I can see the edges of that base so all folds are folded they will don't 
misleading me. I'm gonna take <coughs> my prepared uh, paper and I'm gonna put glue here. It's good if you will fold it a little bit to see where to go or you can put glue here on all that side. Put glue here on opposite side. Put glue here on the bottom. Between those two slots. And if you are not sure about the top where the flap is, put the glue Make sure you, are, you have the right side where it's opening. So put the glue here on the top, but we'll make sure that it will be glued on the right spot. Now take your paper, flip it over and place your paper on the envelope base like this. And let it dry properly. I would like to, to use the sewing machine and make some sewing effects. So to make sure my machine will don't get uh, dirty from, you know, from uh, leaking glue. Now I have to wait to let it dry properly to make sure that nothing will get to my sewing machine. And also before that, all that sewing, I forgot those two. Here is that reinforced side with the uh, sport tape. The other side where I do have those two flying thingies. And of course the original flap of my envelope. I'm going to glue it to that base. I mean this recreated flap. I'm going to glue it here. And I'm also going to put glue here on this one. And glue it to my paper. That will a little bit reinforce all that space, all that folding. Like this. And if you did wrong scoring like I can see that now <laughs> I'm gonna cut this peak in piece cut it off and then I will fold it the way you know how it will comes and here I need to cut it to the end same as I do have those two flying thingies so I'm going to take my scissors and just cut to that score line that should do just that small piece. And I'm going to let it dry before I will use my, uh, my sewing machine. Here I just want to show you if I will slide something inside, it should be visible from here. And then we have this pocket here. I think it's all dry now, hopefully. So I'm gonna make sewing, uh, some sewing. I'm gonna sew this flap and the back over the top of this entry. You have to make sure you are sewing the right, uh, right side, not here, because that is the entry to your pocket, but just this top one, right under that folded, folded part. And then here, all around and back and again uh, here on the top not this entry but this top one which should hold on the background
I do have that base. This will be folded there, there, and this one will be folded here. And here we have the, the flap from that envelope. So I need to create some pocket here. For that, I'm gonna take. Do you have many pieces of paper? This one is gonna take, tell you measurement eight and one eight. The white, then fold it half, right? And on the high, it's eight and one quarter. Oh, yeah, eight and one quarter. Here to make it like opening thingy. And because I do have here that flap, I would like to make also some closure. And for that, I'm gonna add uh, another cardstock that will be glued here on the top. And I'm gonna make that cardstock like another pocket to kind of build it up. I'm gonna take this large paper punch. Uh, it's from Woodware and it's this uh, large tuck. And I'm gonna cut the window for my for my pocket. So I'm gonna slide this cardstock. I'm gonna tell you measurement of this cardstock as well. This is uh, a seven and seven and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. This cardstock, and it's three hundred uh, grammage cardstock and I'm gonna slide that cardstock to my paper punch the way there where I can see a little bit of that corner and I'm gonna punch the tuck now I'm gonna take that cardstock and slide it opposite way and here I'm gonna make sure the sides are matching and Punch again. That way I just created beautiful window with exactly same edges here because that paper punch punching all the time same way and I do have decoration for my mini tuck. You can uh, distress it with some color and just glue it here on the bottom and I believe it will looks amazing. So I do have window. I will need some acetate piece. I'm gonna cut the corners because I think those uh, curved corners are more like more friendly. <laughs> gonna cut those corners here as well. I have decided to add embossed effect to my frame and uh, it will <laughs> I can't do it this way that I will put my plate or, or my frame to the embossing folder because I want to have this number here on the bottom and if I will place it this way it will be upside down so what I'm gonna give it a try I'm gonna open that embossing folder this is that valley uh, part. This is that uh, mount part where you can feel the letters and here are those holes kind of like ish. So I'm gonna place it on my paper and instead of folding it I'm gonna use this silicone mat and try to use that silicone mat like that opposite which will press my paper. So I do have that embossed effect and now I'm gonna place there some uh, acetate piece. I'm gonna use one quarter of inch double sided tape and here is top of my card. So from bottom of my card I'm gonna add double sided tape around my window. And I'm gonna glue my acetate sheet. And I do have nice beautiful print i'm gonna distress all the edges on all those pieces so i have distressed all the edges on all those pieces i used a uh, tea dyed distress ink and i also add a little bit of embossing uh, effect 
all around of this piece and I use this collection from Sizzix. This is mail set. It's from 2011. So I'm not sure if you can find it because it's pretty old, but it's amazing. <laughs> so I added that return address and that strip all around. So I'm going to put the glue here. And I have to be careful to not put that too much. So this one I will need to take off a little bit on the bottom. It is kind of too much. So I want to have it open like this. And I'm going to put that extra glue here on the bottom of my paper. And I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to put the glue where I do have that international letter embossed edge. On these three sides, I'm going to put a glue. I'm going to place it on my paper. And how about if I will realize later that I wanted to put there some closure. <laughs> so what we can do. If right now I will think, oh, I need some closure for my flap. So I do have prepared that. I cut two similar pieces from some paper. I put there, uh, these are three quarter of inch circles. I punched from some Cereali box. I made a hole in the middle and then put those circles on exactly same spot. Those pieces are exactly same and those circles are on exactly same spot on both those papers. And I use those uh, brats to keep them there. So one, I will glue it right here. I think this way. And that other piece, I think I'm going to place it, I can place it right here actually. Oh, it will be cute. Now I'm going to take the string. And I'm going to wrap it around one, uh, under that one circle and make a knot. Cut the shorter side. And wrap it around the way you want to see it. So I think this way it's enough. Here I'm gonna cut. So I do have a closure. So we have that outside and I'm gonna make some pockets inside. I wanna keep that window here, at least part of it. So I do have here this uh, school paper. It's with the teacher's program. And I think I'm just gonna fold it by hand to the measurement I need here for this side. So I'm gonna slide it to the end and here on the top I'm gonna fold it uh, a little bit under this fold here. And I'm gonna place it here kind of like in the middle. And use that top one to fold the sides. No, I'm not going to use the top one. I'm going <laughs> to make a measurement, not folding. I'm going to make it by hand to make sure it's straight. You can score it to the size of your um, kind of like folder or booklet, flip book. So here and the other side again 
gonna slide it here and fold the other side to make sure it will fit inside And I'm going to cut this strip off. Yes, I'm going to cut this strip off. I'm going to keep this one here. So I'm going to take my ruler because my cutting with scissors is not straight. So from this fold. I should take longer ruler. Here. Now this one. So I do have this strip. And here I'm gonna cut between. Just from the fold to the end. So I do have this gonna fold one up one down here I need to cut a little bit of the bottom to make sure there is space because it's too bulky that way it will be better yes I think this way it will be much better And with this, I should fit here. Yeah, I can fit in there. So I'm going to have a look. Where is the window? Good. So if I will go. And I'm gonna rip that paper here. I'm gonna take distress ink. First, I'm gonna cut the corners to make it a little bit more decorative. These I can keep, and this one, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna take a uh, distress ink and I'm gonna distress all the edges so I do have distress all edges and now <clears throat> I'm gonna fold this one in and this one out and I'm gonna fold this here and I'm gonna make uh, sewing from here all the way across here around around and back here and here and probably here I'm not sure but I will uh, sew it all around to make sure it's holding everything properly and here with that sewing I will make pocket here and pocket from other side so I do have it sewn all together I do have pocket here pocket here pocket here and when I will glue it on the page I will have pocket also on the so I'm gonna put glue I'm thinking if I will do some stamping I think I'm not gonna do some stamping I will see how it will looks like <laughs> maybe I will add something later and glue it 
going to break the spot. Good, good, good. So I'm gonna let it dry. So now I do have pocket here, under, one here and one here. So I have put some goodies inside and I made two of them exactly the same. Just uh, the papers I used a little bit different, but they are exactly the same with all those folds and pieces. And we're going to put it together. So I think this one will be first and this one will be second. So I'm going to flip it this way. I'm going to put a glue here on my fold with that sport tape. I'm gonna take my second piece and now I'm gonna lay them together and put these pieces together like this. I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna start to create a cover for this. For the cover I'm gonna use this empty box from uh, yeah, for crypt pack. That they, they were really tasty. <laughs> nice and tasty. I'm gonna use this uh, box from from those <laughs> rips because what I just measured my signatures or those pockets, they are actually exactly as the box is without those uh, side flaps. So I'm gonna cut the box just in the size of my uh, pockets of, of this uh, leg high leg leg so i'm gonna measure my pockets this way i think it was nine inches if i'm not mistaken that start uh, the envelope i started yeah nine inches so i'm gonna cut that box here that top one and then nine inches here so i have cut cut it my piece i cut uh, not nine inches but nine and one quarter i just added just a little bit and i'm gonna uh, this is that uh, you know from the box and it's in the middle so i'm gonna score that part perfect it's one and a half inch so i'm gonna score it every one quarter of inch if it will be possible this is quite thick for, for scoring i hope i will don't jump to the next score line good i'm gonna make it like you know make it work i am going to use uh, these product invoices they are old invoices and i'm going to cover all that piece with these papers So I put the that paper all around and I do have here a piece of cheesecloth. It's that 90 grades cheesecloth and I'm gonna put a piece of that cheesecloth in uh, inside of my book. So I'm gonna put a glue all around and I will make sure that there is lots of glue like this and I'm gonna put it all around if I do have my cheesecloth cut it all around with just small edge uh, peeking out uh, this one will be inside of my book so uh, I would like to have as a base I would like to have their book pages so I do have my book pages glued and to secure all those layers I'm gonna try <laughs> if my sewing machine will be good enough to sew it all around so my sewing machine did sewn all around uh, I'm gonna take my pockets and I'm gonna put a glue here where I glued them together so I'm gonna, gonna use Uhu glue again. And I'm gonna place my pockets to that spine. 
and with the ruler because it's a little bit longer than my burning tool. Eh? I'm gonna press it all together. I think it's all dry, so I'm gonna take my ruler and with ruler I'm gonna make marks. First I need to make position exactly in the middle. So it will be here and here. Yes. This way. And I'm gonna make a mark I think one and a half inch, no, one inch from the side, one inch from the side, from edge, I mean, and then two inches and two inches. So one and two, one and two from edges, I mean, from the top and from the bottom. I'm gonna punch the holes and put their brats. Uh, brats, eyelets. So I'm gonna punch the holes where I made those marks. What do I think here? I will probably be more successful if I will make it from outside, I guess. So I'm gonna make marks again. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to make marks again exactly in the middle of my spine. First I need to check it. Yeah, yeah, I'm on a good, good spot. So I'm going to make new marks from outside to make sure I am in the middle, which is this line here. I'm going to kind of reinforce it for myself. You know, those score lines I made. So this one is middle one. And on that middle one, yeah, that will be much, much better. On this middle one, and again, one inch, and two, and one inch, and two. And I'm going to place it from outside to make it nice and even. Punch the hole. And two. And fix the brats. Oh, brats again, eyelets. <laughs> So I do have fixed the bra uh, eyelets, what I'm saying. and I'm going to take elastic band and I'm going to go from outside to inside and from inside outside and here, oops, and there and back. So I added that elastic band and I think I'm gonna keep it this way. I'm not even sure if I will add here some another pockets because it's like nicely full. I will see I still have a few things to add. So 
So I will see how it will go. And you probably already saw in the in, in, in intro <laughs> or entry <laughs> to this video. So this is my short tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this is collaboration with Marley Design. I will put her link. Uh, I will put link to her channel down below. If you haven't seen her channel yet, go to have a look because her uh, her mixed media techniques, her stamping techniques, they're so awesome. So this is my sharing for today. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself, and I will see you soon. Bye.